Hello my gorgeous makeup loving friends, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hi, my name is Teresa. I do not normally look this bad but um, I tried out a new product that I was convinced, convinced I was going to love. Um, it's the Danessa Myricks Groundworks palette which is retailing for 88 euro. Yeah, so <laughs> this video is actually um, usually I would call it my rated or slated, um, but it's essentially a first impressions. I have opened this for the first time on camera. There's some things that we really have to discuss that I am worried about in terms of quality control and general safety of the products. Yeah, I would normally say if you want to see how I did this look, then this is the video. This is the worst look I think I've ever done in my entire life. But it is using this palette and if you continue to watch you will see the struggle that it was and I hope that it will help you to determine whether or not to buy this palette. So if you want to see me struggle then uh, that's the video for you. I am so excited. This just arrived today. So it's the Groundwork Defining Neutrals palette. Palette for eyes, brows, face and lips. So it's a multi-use palette. Really kind of typical of Danessa to come out with something that is multi-use. So I have other Danessa products here as well because I'm like, let's make it a full face of Danessa. While I want to use as much of this to, you know, do the eyes, etc., um, because there's no point in me doing brows because my brows are ridiculous. I do kind of want to use a little bit of this. It's the shade Pride because <laughs> why not? And I have two of the like yummy skin blushes. I don't know which one I'll use. And I of course have the yummy skin balm. Absolutely love it. And I feel like all of that will work quite well with this because I mean there's bronzer, contour, etc. in there. Very, very excited. I, I will say though, like I always like reading the back of these and it says warning for external use only. Obviously, who's who's using this for internal use? But it says avoid direct contact with eyes, which confuses me because it also literally says for the eyes. I'm going to show you this now. So if you see just down here, that's where it says avoid direct contact with eyes. Maybe it's because it has that is it upsilite or something in it, and like that's a new enough ingredient which is meant to like decrease the amount of oiliness, etc which is a great idea, but maybe it's just that it isn't like FDA approved yet, so they're like, don't say that you can use it. But I wanted to do a full on first impression of unboxing this because I feel like this might be the palette, you know, not to end all palettes, but like, I mean, it's made by Danessa. So this is what it looks like on the outside. Look at that. I haven't even checked to see if it's like okay and if it arrived in one piece. I really, really hope so. It's being sold on Cult Beauty and Beauty Bay at the moment and probably some other places. I'm gonna link them down below. But let's have a little look. You removed. So the, oh, okay, <laughs> sorry, there's like a really, really pungent smell. I don't know, maybe that's like the opsolite or something. I don't know. Mm, no, okay. Also, there's kind of strange fuzzy bits. Do you see? Do you see here how there's like fuzzy bits? Like in the pomade. Okay. Um, that kind of gives me a little bit of pause. Like that one's really bad. <sighs> Between that and the smell, the smell is really quite overwhelming. I know I'm a sensory bee, tis the tism. I don't know how to describe it. It's like, um, it's like gone off perfume or something, if that's even a thing. Or like really, uh, medicine. Hmm. We'll we'll see what the story is, anyways. But um, I'm I'm a bit worried about the fact that there's like these little fuzzy bits, and 
it does look like, are these tin? Sorry, that's the question. Ooh, I've managed to shove my fingernail in there. Um, it does look like these are actually tin. And if that's tin, then tin is more prone to like mold and stuff, which is what happened, I believe, with pastel roses back in the day. Um, okay, well, I'll use this. I'm a bit nervous. Hopefully it's actually okay and it's just like a weird, a weird thing, but oh, the smell. Blech. I'm gonna quickly just do my brows and then we're gonna come back and we're going to try use this together. Now I'm not gonna put down any sort of like eye primer because, well, you know, you're not meant to need it with this. So we'll we'll see what the story is. The brows are done. I generally don't have to do too much with them and yes, I do look manic. I figured out what the smell is like. By the way, even having it closed, it smells vile, so bad. It's like something sweet, you know, like a sweet medicine that is rotting. It's so bad. Now, for obvious reasons, I can't and will not be using the Shade Harvest because that has like a load of like fuzzy stuff on it. Um, if you can't see it, I've, oh God, the smell is really bad. It's, it's very bad. I've inserted a video if you haven't seen it already. Okay. We will, we will power through. Come on, Danessa, I believe in you. Um, okay, so you apparently don't need eye primer, and I know that normally I would like do one eye off camera, uh, but I kind of wanted to do like a full proper first impression because this is such a novel thing. We haven't really got it before. And I do have my Danessa staples here that I very much enjoy. So <laughs> I guess we'll start off first. <laughs> The smell is really bad. Um, by going in with sandstone, now I'm actually just gonna take my finger um, because the shape of this, like the pomades, um, oh wow, okay. Uh, you really kind of dent into them. They're very, um, very soft. Now anyone who knows me knows that I do not um, swatch very heavily. So I'm gonna do one, one eye. Um, sorry, I'm like so all over the place. Um, okay, um, <laughs> um, <laughs> where's the pigment? I'm really confused by this. Because I figured if I put it on this way, it would be a little bit more. What is going on? Oh, that's like really sheer. Now she did kind of say that it was like super pigmented and buildable, but this, um, and I mean, I'm already using a big chunk. I'll show you now. I've already used a big chunk just to get that, and I'm very light. Like I, I have such a light colouring that it shouldn't take that much on me. Part of why I went in with the fingers, I know that like Danessa uses her fingers quite a bit with things, but also the shape of the pan is such that you can't really fit a brush into it. You'd have to take it out and just put it, because otherwise you see you're picking up some of the powder as well. Oh, oh man. That is, um, no, we're, we're gonna try and stay positive because surely, surely <laughs> everything is actually okay. Right, oh, I'm gonna take this uh, BH Cosmetics brush and I'm going to go into the shade Sandstone with that, like the actual powder. Whew, the smell. Um, yeah, the issue with this being right next to it and it being such a skinny little pan is that the powder is gonna go straight into the cream. I really feel they should have like sectioned that off with plastic. I feel like that was a bit of a missed opportunity, but hopefully the powder might be a little bit better. Um, I mean, we're not really getting anything there. This is, Oh dear. 
Oh dear, I'm not sure if we can actually get anything out of this. This was expensive, lads. What was it, 88 euro? I mean, I got it with like 20% off a cut beauty, because that's where I bought it from. Oh man. Oh. Okay. We'll, look, we'll, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. We're, we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. <laughs> Don't know why I'm panicking in a way that I am. It's a makeup truce that washes off. It's not a big deal. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. I had kind of hoped I could maybe use those as like concealers, but there's like no pigment on, on the pomade because it looked like on their advertising, they were kind of saying like, oh, you can use it to highlight, conceal, etc. And I was like, oh, fantastic. Multi-use pal. I'm here for it. But like, I don't know, um, it's going to be difficult to do anything like very constructed with this. Oh man. <laughs> okay, we're, we're, we're going to keep going, we're going to keep going. Okay, I'm actually, I'm going, to, I'm going to go in with my finger again and I'm going to go into the pomade of Chiseled. Um, again, geez, do you see? Not really getting that much product from it, but it's disturbing it quite a bit. Um. Oh, guys, guys. <laughs> Wait, why is this not showing up on me? Oh, Jesus. Okay, we're starting to get somewhere. We're starting to get somewhere. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. 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 We're getting somewhere. Um, I will say though, pigment, not, not great. Not for that, that price. And I mean, look, look what I had to do. Jesus. Oh my God. I, um, I don't know, can I even continue with this? No, no, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna keep trying. We're gonna keep trying. <laughs> we're gonna try and make this work. I'm now taking a Spectrum B06. I've really fecked up that chiseled shade, but it's like, I shouldn't have to use that much of the pan to get that pigment. That really worries me, really genuinely worries me. Mm. Anyways, I'm going to use that and I'm going to go into the powder of Chiseled. And I'm just going to pop that along here. Again, I actually don't, like, I normally like doing, like, a really, like, constructed look that has, like, some really interesting aspects to it. Do you know, I wanted to use the Pride pigment, but I actually think that I should have this just by itself so that you can really see it and you don't get distracted by anything else. Because I think, you know, the Pride pigment could actually just make you kind of be like, oh, wow. Um, but I need you to really make your mind up on this by itself. Because as I said, this is so expensive. And I was so excited about this. Like, I, like, pretty much, like, shit myself when I saw this. I was like, oh, my God, it's Danessa. It's going to be amazing. Because I have the Lightworks palettes. And I fucking love them. Sorry, the smell of that is actually giving me, like, a really bad headache. <laughs> actually, um, hmm. I feel kind of nauseated. The pigment on this is really bad. Really, really bad. Oh man, guys. This makes me look like I really can't do makeup. I'm, I'm not bad at makeup. I'm not amazing at makeup, but I'm not bad at it either. Oh man. Like this eye now looks exactly the same as this eye. And I've done nothing with that. Oh god. This is not good. Like at all. I'm gonna go again because I wanna try these pomades and, and, and powders again. Like I said, I'm not using this one. The fact that there's like fuzzy stuff on it. I'm actually very worried about having this on my eye if I'm 100% honest. I'm really worried about irritation because if this is like if this is a reaction, if it's possibly going off, I don't know what the shelf life is on this particularly with the Upsolite, um, I'm re I'm genuinely a little bit worried at this point. And the fact that the palettes is like not, not for use around the eyes. 
Oh, what am I doing, lads? Um, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the pomade again. It's the shade Sculpted. Um, again, to actually get any pigment, you see how much you have to actually dig in. And now let's see how much we're actually getting on here. Because um, mm, the thing is, this is getting rave reviews online. Okay, we're kind of getting something there. Can I be 100% honest with you lads? I have palettes that are a tenth of the cost of this. Like I could get for eight euro. That would give me better pigment. Oh man. Oh, I'm so disappointed. Mm. Like I had to dig in there and I, I really feel like I wasn't getting good pigment at all. Okay, I'm using now this Spectrum B07 and I'm going into Sculpted, which it kind of bothers me a little bit that the pomade and the powder are slightly different colours, but I'm going in to the powder. I hate having that near my face, it smells so bad. And just kind of doing here. This has made me so sad because I adore Danessa and I was so excited about this. Um, we'll, we'll reserve judgment because I have to see what it's like on the rest of the face. But like, there's not much I can do with this in terms of an eyeshadow. Um, this is incredibly disappointing. Like it's okay, like it looks okay, but like the fact that I've already hit pan. How, how the fuck do I hit pan on one shade when I've literally just opened it? You are not getting value for, for money here. I am so sorry. I, I wanted to love this. No, no, no. Reserve judgment, Tracy. Reserve judgment because you haven't used it on your face yet. And it can be used on the lips as well. So we're, we're, we're going to try it. I obviously, like I said, I'm not using it on the brows because I have enough brows. Maybe now if we try the shade Bark, layer it up again, just see what the story is. I'm going to use the pomade again. Um... Yeah, you're going to hit pan on these really quickly, really, really quickly. Um, oh man, and I got this for 20% off and I still think that this is too expensive at 20% off for what this is. I'm really confused. How is this not turning up? How is this not showing up in my eyelids? How is this not showing up? Where, oh my god. What the hell, lads? This is bad. This is really, really bad. Really, really bad. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna take an Anastasia Beverly Hills brush and I'm gonna go into the powder of bark, just, I don't know. I mean, it's blending, I guess. I guess we can say that. But that's mostly because there's no pigment. And uh, I mean, it's easy to blend when there's no pigment, I guess. <laughs> uh, oh man, I'm so disappointed. Oh. And yet despite this, I'm still getting like harsh lines along here. Oh my God, I feel so bad. Because I really like Danessa and I love her work. Like I said, I love the Lightworks palettes. I'm already excited about the next one. I have so many of her products. It's like ridiculous. I have so many of the pigments, I have the foils, like, like her liquid metals, all that sort of thing. Uh, this is, oh man. I feel so bad for her because I know she's been working on this for like two years. And this is just not it. The thing is, hypothetically, I should be able to like cut a crease with this. Hypothetically. Um, I'm not sure that's actually possible, but we're gonna try. We're gonna try. I'm taking as a waiver brush, it's the 238. You guys know this is the love of my life. But I don't tell Sahil. And um oh god. See, the shades are all starting to look the same on the eye now. Um, I'm going to go into Desert, this one here, and pick it up. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. What is up with this? 
Okay, okay, okay. Um. Where is the pigment? Oh, lots. Oh, lots. This is so bad. It's impossible to do a cup crease with this. Maybe if I try, maybe if I try like, um, like a lighter shade. Oh God. I'll, I'll try this brush and I'll, I'll go into sandstone now. Oh God. Oh Jesus. You saw that I wasn't going into, oh Jesus. Oh guys. Oh, this is really bad. Guys, where the fuck is the pigment? God, where is it? Lad, where is it? You guys know how like light-handed I am with palettes. I'm really, really gentle with them. If you looked at any of my collection, you would see that. Oh my God, like, I actually don't know what to say at this point. I, I genuinely do not know what to say. This is, horrendous um no we're, we're gonna keep trying i'm actually i'm gonna try now and do like a liner with the palette because <laughs> this is the worst eye look i think i've ever done in my entire life this is terrible taking an attitude cosmetics <laughs> liner brush and i'm gonna go into tourmaline let's do this together you can see this brush is very very coated Why is this so bad? Oh, guys, I hate this. I actually hate this so much. That looks really cheap and really dry. Oh, God. And I mean, I've seen so many rave reviews on this of people being like, this is incredible. This is like the palette. Oh man, lads. <laughs> oh. I actually, I don't, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I mean, I've used how many shades now? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six out of the 10 shades obviously there's one that I full on I'm not going to use and I am actually going to write to cult beauty because I this is a quality issue I'm going to do the other eye off camera <laughs> even though this is not a, a look at this point and um yeah I'm going to come back I'll, I've done some like foundation using this which I do love we're going to try and see how it works with like contour bronzer. I can't use it as a concealer. Should I try to? I'm going to try and use it as a concealer. Fuck it. It's here. We're going to use it. Okay, so I have put on the Yummy Skin Balm and I have it in the lightest shade. It's one. I love it. I think it looks so, so pretty on the skin. It's very light coverage, but that's personally my preference. Like, Danessa does really, really good products. Like, I, I don't want anyone to like come out of this video thinking, oh, she doesn't do good products. There, it's this spoon. I love the spoon in this, it's adorable. But uh, this one is, uh, mm, look. Okay, we're gonna try some contour. I usually use this brush and I'm, I'm actually quite nervous about this because the way 
that the pomades pick up is really weird, like really, really weird. Um, might I be, I might actually be better to pick it up on my fingers and then buff it out. So I'm gonna go into the shade Chiseled, which honest God lads, like, oh, this is, I don't, I don't like this. I brought gems out and everything onto my desk with because I thought we'd get something out of it. Okay, we're kind of getting something here. Not very contoury should, but sure. Uh, okay, it's better for this. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I mean, granted I am having to use the entire bloody pan to get any sort of pigment, which is not how I like to do things. But, um... We'll see and we'll see how it blends because I thought it would be best to use Janessa's own formulas, like her own foundations, etc., with this product to try and get it to work. I don't know, man. I don't know. So let's see. Where is it gone? I mean, there's blending and then there's disappearing. This reminds me of all of my old boyfriends just totally ghosting me. Oh my God. I mean, I know they were saying like it's blendable, but like, where has it gone? There's like a bit there, but that's, I mean, I went heavy. Okay, maybe if I add a bit more, mm, I'll try with the brush and I'll go in with the brush. Um, I'll tap it like this. Maybe it might take a bit more product. Again, I don't like the shape of these pans. They're not really working that well, pragmatically. Um, okay, we're getting a bit more. Maybe if I stipple it in. It looks very harsh on me. I don't know. The stippling kind of helps a little bit. A little. And I'm going like really down on the handle, which exerts more pressure, which would mean that you're leaving more and more product on your face. Normally I like going lower on the handle because you do it lighter. As you'll see here. But I find if I'm doing that with this, it's just disappearing. Oh man. The problem is here as well, this shade Mirage, which I haven't used yet, that also has like these sort of white fuzzy things on it. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but I can see it there, particularly if I kind of go backwards and forwards with the palette. So that's two shades that in my opinion, just probably aren't safe for me to use. And then core is probably too dark, but if there's no pigment in it, well, fuck it, let's, let's use it. Um, again, quite impractical, cause like, my brush is now picking up bits of this and bits of that and bits of that. Not great, not great, but we shall persevere. Okay, we're actually getting something there. We're getting some pigment. Stippling helps. We want to be bronzed. We want to be goddesses. We want to be beautiful. Oh, I'm not so sure about this though. Oh, I really, really, really wanted to like this. Mm. Oh God, lads, it's so harsh. It's... Oh. How is this so unusable? 
genuinely. Oh man. Oh my god. <coughs> I don't think I've ever looked this bad. Genuinely. This is I think the worst I've ever looked. This is quite upsetting. And I'm doing this totally arseways because I'm so like distracted by this palette. Oh god, I look awful. I look so bad. Oh man, this is like reverse catfish. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't even do concealer on my under eyes. Uh, which I would normally do because I was like, oh, we'll try this. Well, should I try it? Should I? Oh my God, looks so bad. <laughs> I've never looked so bad. Um, look, we'll give it a go. Um, I'm using the finger again, going into sandstone. Just trying to pat it. Oh God, okay. And... Uh, As you can see, absolutely no pigment coming up. There's no discernible difference between this eye and that eye. And I mean, do you see the amount of, that I've picked up? I should be getting a crazy amount of pigment here. But I'm not. This is very bad guys, very, very bad. Even the powders are not worth talking about. There's not, none of this that's usable, none of it. Okay, I'm gonna put powder on and try and see if there's any way that I can like get this to mesh because nothing is meshing together. This is like just the nightmare of all nightmares. But we'll come back and we'll try and do a lip. We'll see what we can do. <laughs> Lads, like even my cheeks are so red, I think because I'm so embarrassed by how bad this is. Like the, the balm isn't able to cover it, which it normally wouldn't anyway, but like my cheeks never get this red. My, my body reacts in a really particular way when I feel like really upset or sad um, or embarrassed. And this is what's happening. Cause I'm like, you spent over 60 euro on this. And like, this is the state of it now with two shades that are entirely unusable due to the fact that there, there's like fuzzy stuff on it. God, Jesus, okay, no, we're gonna keep trying. She also said you can use it for your lips. So I'm gonna use this like lip uh, brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Stone because that could be quite interesting uh, as a lipstick and thing like and I I'm so gentle but like it just comes off it's terrible and even the liner I feel so crusty. Oh man, the colour on that is not coming up great. Kind of improving there a little bit. But I have dug into this to like a scary extent. And it's not covering my pink lips at all. I look awful. Oh man. Everything is just not working. <laughs> If this is the first video of mine that you've seen, you're gonna be like, she doesn't know how to do makeup, and do you know what? This is making me feel like I don't know how to do makeup. Okay. We've kind of got something with that. That's not, not horrendous, but look at the extent to which I've had to actually dip into that. I shouldn't have to go in to that extent to get it to work. 
Oh man, I'm taking a liner brush and um, I'm gonna go into the shade Sculpted and do the pomade there. And just maybe can I line around the lips? Not that I'm getting that much from it. Okay, I'm gonna like blend it out a little bit. This isn't awful. Again, I've had to use so much to get it to work. And there's cheap lipsticks that I have that are way more comfortable. Now it's just lifting off all that colour. I mean, it's absolutely destroyed at this point. I would normally go off, do my hair, put on earrings, change my top and be like, yeah, I feel great. I didn't even bother putting on lashes because it's a waste of lashes. Um, it's, this is truly terrible. <laughs> it's so, so bad. I'm going to show you the eyes. You've seen them as we've gone along, but I'm going to show you them first and we're going to talk through each of this. You can see how difficult this was to actually blend that the pigment just genuinely was not there. The black is like as a pomade I've never actually seen anything that performs that badly. I have other products that are cheaper that perform so much better. And then I mean it's patchy, it's terrible, sheer, unpigmented, messy throughout. I mean this is so bad. It also looks like the balm isn't amazing at the moment, but I promise it is actually normally very good. My just, my panic and embarrassment is like peeking through. Um, it was okay as a pomade for the lips, but it's dry as fuck and it's actually quite uncomfortable. The, there's so many things uh, to say here. The smell alone makes me think that whatever the ingredients are in this, that they've gone off or are very temperamental and prone to going off. The fact that there were fuzzy things in the pan freaks me out because that's brand new. Like that's a brand new launch, what is going on? There's blendable and buildable, and that's not what this is. There's absolutely no pigment, it is, sheer. I've actually, like I cannot get over to try and get the level of pigment that I I've never, ever, ever abused a palette in this way. I mean literally I could take any palette from here and I could show you and actually I will. So this is a palette that you know that I've used. I've done a, 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 sing like a, a single review on my channel so I would have done a whole look on it. And I did swatches. Do you see how well kept that is? Like I am incredibly light with my palettes. Uh, do you know what? I'll show you another Danessa palette. So this is the Lightwork Volume 3 and I love this with my whole heart. I actually used this on my wedding day, such as my love of Danessa. Do not take this to be a video of hate because I actually think she's incredibly talented. This was just a, a major miss. But to show you, I use, like I said, I, I use this on my wedding day and I've used this in videos. I have a video of this up and uh, you can see the condition. I take care of my things. I'm very, very gentle with my things. I love Danessa stuff, but this, uh, this doesn't feel like Danessa at all. It feels like Danessa in the sense of like giving us something a little bit different in terms of like a pomade and a powder. And uh, in principle, I think that's amazing. But the formula, the the quality is so bad. It's so bad. Like I could get something in Primark or Pennies that is a thousand times better. I am genuinely like kind of appalled by how bad this is. I have a huge collection of palettes. It's my huge interest. Easily have over maybe 600. And I've never in my entire life 
add something that was this bad in terms of quality. Genuinely. And I have had like sleek makeup and I thought that was terrible. <laughs> it was like powdery. I would actually think that's better. This is abysmal. I'm gonna write an email to Cult Beauty after this because I'm gonna demand a refund because the quality is dreadful. I'm gonna have to throw this out. I, ca I cannot use this. It is terrible. Guys, please, please do not get this. Um, the, the, even if it was like 70% off, it's not even worth it at that point. I really, really hope that Danessa reformulates this because I think the idea, the principle, the, the, the theory around this makes so much sense to me. And I loved the idea of this when I saw this. I like was so excited, but the execution, I don't know what it is. Oh, my, my lips actually hurt. <laughs> like I'm actually struggling to, to put words together. I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely shocked. I thought this was gonna be like a fantastic, we're gonna get things done. I had even, like I said, put gems onto my desk because I was ready to do a whole look. I had brought one of my pigments here, uh, which is a Janessa one. Because I was like, yeah, we're we're gonna do a whole thing. This is normally where I would like give it a rating out of ten. Um, this is unrateable. Negative marks. It's terrible, and I'm I'm hoping it's that maybe I got a bad batch. That there's some quality control issues. Because I've seen other people talk about it on social media, and they've been like, "Oh my god, it's amazing! It's amazing! It's amazing!" I really hope that that's what it is. That I've just got a dud, but I'm too frightened to bother getting another one or ask for a replacement. Um, I will just be asking for my money back, Danessa. I really hope that whatever the issue is here, that it gets sorted because I'm a huge fan, a huge fan of your products, of your work, of everything, and um, your innovation is always like incredible, like genuinely it blows me away but unfortunately this just isn't it it's poorly executed and, and extremely disappointing i hate having I, I, like nobody buys a product kind of, oh i hope i hate this i was convinced this is going to be like my go-to palette for like lots of things and it kind of sucks but my gorgeous friends that's it. It's a really like down video. I feel so like deflated. I'm really upset. I'm even starting to like question myself of like, do I know how to do these things? But like, I'm not bad at doing makeup in general. Look at any of the rest of my videos. I'm not bad. I'm not amazing. You know, I'm not qualified. I'm not an Emmy way. I'm just a makeup enthusiast. But I don't think anyone should struggle with a palette this much, particularly when it's that price. But my gorgeous friends, that's it. That's the end of this video. Hopefully we don't have another one like this again. Uh, do please like, comment and subscribe. All of that makes a huge, huge difference to this little channel over here. And do please share, because sharing is caring, except of course for STDs, in which case, just wrap it up. Don't be gross, but that's it. That's the end of the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.